Hello, hello everyone. Welcome to today's webinar. Today's topic is empower your business with AI powered SaaS application. So uh, nowadays everyone talk about AI, Trinity AI, LLM. Well, actually there's a few solutions that uh, deeply integrate with AI. And also uh, some of them already adopt uh, LLM in the application. So <clears throat> anyway, let's get started. Uh, be before we begin, there's a few housekeeping message for you guys. Uh, uh, this is a webinar, so you cannot turn on your mic. If you guys got any question or, 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 or issues, please do uh, type in the chat or the question box. I will try to answer you guys question right away so let's get started okay so to, today agenda is very, very simple we introduce a little bit and give you a few solution that with ai solutions uh that helps you protect your environment or make you more productive so first thing we will talk about is ESET. Uh, it's not talk about the signature based detection. This is not AI anymore, but we do have many, many uh, uh, solutions uh, or, or functional features built in to our packages. Uh, there's a few different uh, package with uh, different level of production. Uh, let me point a few that related to AI and machine learning. First of all, all of our endpoint security is there is a machine learning modules built in to do an in-product sandbox. It means every executable before it execute, it will be put in an isolated environment, execute, and we monitor the behavior. And we use machine learning to detect is there any unknown unseen malware. So this is one of the very uh, pioneer features we have uh, already available for a few years, and the and the advanced threat detection, which is a cloud version sandbox. So this is a cloud sandbox. If our in product sandbox, because our in product sandbox is not offline, we are not allowed it to go to the internet to download some malware payload or connect to the CNC server. So if we find this some connection with subspecies, then we will, if you have the package purchased, of course, then it will send to the cloud to give you a result. And we have few more functions that relate to AI. Yeah, let's begin. And next is about the, our EDL solution. So uh, EZ Inspect, which is a EDL solutions from EZ, we have, um, we have an AI, built in to help you to correlate incidents or events into a uh, story that you can see on the right hand side. Okay, so uh, Lomo is not that complex, uh, but sometimes do. But anyway, so uh, how it works is it is a all in one solution. We have the endpoint protection. I just mentioned we have in product sandbox and blah, blah, blah. Beyond that, if you want to find out not just find out the malware, but hidden hackers behavior, you need the EDR. And we have an integrated platform to collect those information and we fit into AI to help you to correlate the events, give you a full picture. And then you can take actions. Of course, we support automation, like uh, automate isolate computers with with high security events, this and that. Yeah, okay. So this is uh, ESEX Inspect. So what are the use case for this solution is uh, if you got compliance or you got cyber insurance, you may know that you need to install uh, EDL solutions. Now we support cloud deployment and on-prem deployment. If you have to deploy EDL on an offline environment, I think ESET is the only choice for you, okay? Because most of the uh, uh, third-party 
uh, ADR solutions is heavily relied on the cloud. It means all your logs, all your data, all your metrics, you have to send to the cloud and come back for you to research, but we got an on-prem version, okay? And also, uh, especially you got a hybrid environment that online, offline, cloud, then you said it's a very good choice. And if you simply want to enhance your security, you've got endpoint already, EDR also a very good choice for you. And sometimes customers really, really want to do root cause analysis for many cases. Like, uh, for example, you got uh, a ransomware attack uh, some Monday, and Susan's computer, I don't know why Susan, anyway, Susan, Susan's computer is got infected by ransomware, and she, her computer, although being stopped by ESAT before it hacked into your file server to encrypt all server files, you need you would like to know the root cause of that. Well, from 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 endpoint point of view, I would say okay, you you there's a executable, it's a ransomware, we did that and remove it. And sometimes we can see more like if there is a file uh, email attachment, fine, you know that. But if you want, in, but in some cases, like the right hand side complicated uh, diagram, you need something more to find out what it's the what is the root cause for this uh, attack. Uh, it's maybe it's not Susan download email attack. It may be because there is a other computer who open an attachment, and then. Uh, it download a payload, want a PowerShell, and then gain access and find an administrator right, and then remove the attack Susan's computer and plant where somewhere there. So if you isolate just Susan's computer, you may get into trouble because the root cause is maybe for example is Peter. So the Peter's laptop got a problem. So if you don't find it, you won't stop the ransomware. It will come again, maybe a few hours later. So anyway, root cause analysis is very important. Uh, in fact, it's on the other hand, on the other hand, is threat hunting. Okay. So besides the EDL solution, what kind of solution we are adopting AI and highly recommend to you guys is the cloud sandbox, the advanced uh, advanced uh, detection that I mentioned earlier. So, and I will say it is really really cost effective and least administrative uh, requirement. So the cow sandbox is detect zero day attack that's never seen before and use our uh, sandboxing technology to run the executable and, and, and layer detection, detailed behavior, and we have additional layer and, and, and solutions. The main point here is if you adopt this cloud sandbox, you just need to configure what level you want to uh, handle uh, threshold level for those files you want to delete it. What I mean is uh, when there's a file sent to our cloud, we will analyze it, return the result to your uh, console, and we will say this file is clean, suspicious, highly suspicious, or confirmed to be malware. So you just set a policy, for example, for laptop, any suspicious file, remove it, quarantine it. For critical server, we want to do it more manual for suspicious or highly suspicious. So we just remove those confirmed malware and send an email alert to administrator in case there's a suspicious or highly suspicious file found on the surface. Okay. Those you need not to do it one by one. Once you configure the threshold, we will do it for you. And the malware or suspicious file found on one computer, we will apply to all your endpoints based on your threshold policy. So, for example, if you're a cross-border company, you've got computers in Malaysia, Thailand, Indonesia, Singapore, Hong Kong, China, wherever you are. For example, you got a computer in China, detect some suspicious file and confirm, send to our 
uh, sandbox confirmed with suspicious, then all those countries' computers will protect against this new malware. So this is a very good zero day defense. You know, sometimes uh, it may happen in certain region, it will spread through other regions later. If you got this footprint, you can protect your computers earlier. So this uh, sandbox, we not just work with our endpoint security solution, but also integrate with our mail security and our cloud office security. Cloud office security. So which is a uh, cloud solution for uh, M365 and uh, Google Workspace. Okay, so this is a very cost effective, intelligent, fully automated solution for you. So some customer adopt mainly want to better fight against ransomware because nowadays ransomware is still very serious and having problem in more professional way. The hackers will do research, the hackers will do all sorts of information so you are less likely to escape if you got infected. They may send your file to the public if you don't pay the ransom. So there's a headache. Uh, so this the problem is not gone and getting serious. So uh, if you want to back to protect against from the ransomware, our live guard I was, which is the cloud sandboxing is very, one of your choice. Uh, of course, if not just against uh, ransomware, you will be concerned about zero day attack. For example, you've got many uh, internet facing servers that is worry a lot about the zero day attack. You can choose uh, either like like guard at once. And it is, as I mentioned, it's effective and low cost of security upgrades. Because even though you got ADL, it's very nice, but you still need someone sit down to go through those story or attack or, or alerts with generator and decide what to do but for cloud sandbox it can handle by our policy by a way automatically so it is very very handy and uh, cost effective solution recommend for all those you didn't have cloud sandbox try it so Next is for the uh, uh, ESET Cloud Office security. So um, nowadays we got many, most of the uh, mailbox hosting from the Cloud Mail. Some of them is from M365, some of them is Google Workspace. So you start to find that the detection or, or you find phishing or spam getting more and more worse because the detection is not that good okay so so that's why you said you said create a cloud office security to provide much better and his malware and his spam and team phishing in your cloud uh, mail m365 and google workspace as i mentioned we got the cloud sandbox there so that means we can help you to handle all the uh, unknown attack before hit into users inbox so, and we also deploy in an API mode. So in case you already have the filtering on M365 already, or you already have other gateway solution working on that, it doesn't matter. It can be worked together and we'll find that you should keep ESET only. And all the detection is within five minutes. So it will not de won't delay your email too much. For small file or URL, it should be very quick. No, no, you don't, you don't find it. And we have a uh, use case, uh, ransomware again, there's 90% of the tech start from an email. So if you remove and protect user from those phishing or, or spam mail as a starter of the uh, ransomware, you will much save. And your current platform have very uh, subscribe already subscribed some protection service, but spam still comes in a lot, and phishing still coming in a lot. Then you should think about is a card of security. As I mentioned, also you we are coexist with any other email protection, even there from full API or for gateway. It doesn't matter. It works together, so you can try and set that there 
see if we can protect you better then you can consider to straight over and very easy because you just change the api or the routing then you can it's done right so alternate platform for protection and this one you need not to using is an endpoint so in case you are using others endpoint solution and think about can i have other renders to help you to have a more layer of detection yeah, you can try to put ESA there. Okay. Any question so far? Okay. Yeah. Uh, of course, uh, I forgot to mention the, the cloud sandbox. Of course, we, we have AI on the machine learning detection. So it's also AI related. Okay, this one is not that related to AI because it's a very simple one a bit in patch management, but it is newly introduced by ESA, so I take a chance to introduce this to you. Uh, if you buy the complete package or elite package, it will come with the uh, ESA vulnerability and patch management. It will detect what kind of vulnerability in your computer, show you the CEV, CVE, and there's a patch and help you uh, use one click, then you deploy the patch. Okay, you can schedule, you can group, you can filter, automate, apply patches. It's up to you. So, uh, simple, easy to use uh, cloud based uh, patch management modules from ESA. So, if you are using like uh, ESA Protect Entry, ESA Protect Advanced, you may think about, okay, let's upgrade to ESA Protect Complete or even Elite. Then you can enjoy this vulnerability and patch management solution. Uh, for Elite, you will have uh, the ADL and also the Cloud Sandbox also. Compete also got Cloud Sandbox and Office Cloud Security. But uh, Elite I got ADL. So it depends on use case. Uh, you just contact ourselves or contact us. Uh, we will check, check with you, see which solution is best for you. So once again, we have the patch management, we have the ADL, and also we've got authentication. Uh, many many uh, features in the elite and for the mdr which is not available yet because we are going to offer an mdr in in apac and which is uh, from ESAT. and once it's available customer can sign up uh not just for the product but come with an mdr service uh stay tuned we will have that uh very very soon but if you are in hurry, you want to do MDR today or tomorrow. Uh, we have uh, other solutions for you, so you can check with our colleagues on that. Okay, uh, that's then for the ESAT. So let's talk about something interesting. Um, uh, did you guys ever heard about Log VPN? Uh, so it is. Uh, now i think it's the biggest uh vpn on the planet for 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 public vpn that you can subscribe to uh lot layer is the business edition for that so it's not just a cloud vpn but it also helps you to adopt network access security and apply a zero trust network architecture easily with lot layer. It sounds uh, sounds too easy, right? But actually, it's real because we have um, many many features on security, not just VPN, and it it helps any size of customer, SMB, mid, mid enterprise, enterprise, and any industry. Because we have a huge, huge, huge number of server, you need not to worry about the capacity or performance. Uh, I used a lot of uh, VPN uh, render before. Lolly is really, really the fastest. Yeah, and much more server. So, okay, let's talk about the security and how AI it is. First of all, we have. Uh, we have uh, AI powered threat protection and prevention on each of your assets, each of your download. So after you connect to our VPN, we will monitor the traffic and filter those malware, malware links or malware download for you. So a backend is AI powered and also the phishing URL, uh, phishing website is also powered by uh, AI in backend. And we 
helps you to do much better identification we support single sign-on with your Google Workspace or M365 and we can enable uh, biometrics MFA or, 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 or token MFA as up to you and we uh, have support uh, passkey also and then you can do uh, identification network segmentation because we can group all your device or, or, or clients to different groups and provide correct uh, application access control through our SaaS firewall. So you can imagine I do a MFA or, or biometric access login and I fall into uh, certain groups and the SaaS firewall control which server, which application I can access. So this is a zero trust, right? <laughs> and also we can help you to uh, support a hybrid environment. We, we do have a site-to-site -site VPN. You can connect a uh, public cloud, your on-prem to our network to connect all your VPN client together. And no need to worry. We have the SaaS firewall there to protect against your access it won't let it to be abused and we help you to comply uh, the HIPAA, GDPR, ISO, PCI, especially if you, and you've got Roman user using a VPN, a cloud VPN to help you and have a very good control on access is very ideal with log layer. So besides uh, um, those, we have a shared server, so you have uh, in 50 country, wherever you are, uh, then you can connect a, a country nearby, and then you can uh, have a secure tunnel, connect back your uh, access, not just for your office computer or, or, or data center, but also you can uh, f uh, control the access for our VPN to your SaaS, so you need not to open your SaaS to the whole internet. You just open your SaaS to your delicate uh, VPN server in log layer. Then we do the control for you. You can filter out who can access, who cannot. So it will be much, much, much stronger on the protection on the SaaS and your end users. So, so what kind of small problem we solve? We help you protect your user when they are using public Wi-Fi uh, or yeah, so or home Wi-Fi, which is need not to be secure. Just imagine in your home environment, you need not to have only one computer. The next computer may be a kid love to play games, but also love to do some uh, hacking, cracking of the software. And uh, that maybe have something bad there. So we have a VPN to filter all those threats, to isolate your, your, your connection, it do helps. It's much better to trust your IP address of your home router, right? And we can grant access based on your IP, based on your client, username and groups. So we can segment your access uh, much more easily with uh, just a few clicks on a console. And we have the Flatbox NRS tools to help you to block the business website for our AI and database detection. So there is one very, very, very important uh, point. People will worry that VPN vendor will capture or lock all the data. So log VPN. Uh, seek help from the third party auditors they do their they do audit their system and they can ensure that there's no data logging occur on not layer service so we will not lock your data of course we have an audit log for your access when you lock in the vpn uh what kind of connection you create yeah we will but not your data okay And also we have a uh, uh, ISO 
27001. Yeah. Okay. So uh, what's the difference from not layer to others renders? We are easy to start. You just subscribe, download the agent, everyone everyone knows how to use it. And then you and the where interface is very easy to use. You just feel click that you can do the segmentation, you can do the a cloud firewall, you can do the MFA, and you can do the single sign on just a few clicks. It's really, really easy. And we are very, very easy to scale because you need not to worry about our server. Our server is already there. So you just sign up more, install more agent, provision more users, then you can use it. So you, you need not to worry about the capacity, you need not worry about the performance, not just not like uh, the VPN gateway in your office. Uh, it always fine for five to 10 users, but after you have add to 20 and 40, they, they all work from home, that can be a nightmare, especially we are start to have more and more work from home policy in different position, different industry, people really think need not to come to office after the COVID. Yeah, it also understand that. Okay, so before I start the next item, is there any other question for that? Okay, let, uh, let's uh, do a short chit chat on the AI stuff before we start the next item. So, uh, do you guys ever try about Gemini, Copilot, and GGPD? I think yes, right? So, what is the use case? You use writing, drafting email, uh, writing marketing messages, uh, prepare PowerPoint presentation data analysis or help you to understand a long, long technical article uh, with very few seconds. Okay, maybe others use a cute case. Uh, actually, there's uh, more and more companies start to adopt uh, LLM and uh, uh, machine learning together to help them to enhance their performance. So in the past, we used machine learning to find a pattern. Now we use uh, LM to help us to generate uh, uh, results faster and quicker, more knowledgeable. A uh, Roger is raise your hand. So I think you 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 agree for my point, or you got more more uh, use case you can share with us. Uh, so yeah, uh, I last time I went to the Elastic On event, so I saw the how OCBC or, or, or DBS I forgot. So OC, OCBC they have their their open source LLM integrated with uh, Elastic Search to give a very good result for all their internal stuff. Yeah, I think it's a Nowadays, is uh, everyone should think about how we can adopt our uh, open um, AI or LLM or, or others AI to our business process. But for the use case all men I just mentioned, I personally use use it a lot. Uh, just not the um, Elastic and the open source LLM yet, because it's big times i'm trying to work on that but uh i'm yeah it's very funny but uh it takes time so anyway uh if you got more uh things like uh, about security or, or llm or ai you want to check discuss or console you can contact me anytime anyway so let's uh resume <laughs> so now it's a uh, sense of uh, this is a new product we introduced to Singapore. Uh, there are not that much AI uh, component there, but uh, anyway, let me make use a few time to introduce solution because it's very good solution, I, my my opinion. So, uh, San Sakura, SSG, San Sakura is a Spanish or Portuguese, Portuguese, super Portuguese. Okay, anyway, <laughs> my chew cough is too bad. <laughs> okay, anyway, so uh, uh, it's from Brazil. 
and uh, the one is from Brazil, but they have a branch and customer world over the world and have the uh, different kind of industry and customers. Okay, so what is this? It's a PAM solution, okay? Privilege access management solutions. Uh, where they use the AI, we use the AI to detect your outline behaviors. So what is PAM? Uh, back to the first question. So user can access a privilege account without knowing the privilege account password, okay? Also, of course you can, but the typical way is maybe there's an administrator, they log in with an MFA, so it authenticate and authorize, then he have, for example, this administrator got access right to 10 Linux server. Then her session can see 10 Linux server, you click to server one, our proxy will help him to log in the Linux server without telling him the any password because we retrieve the password from the password vault and help customer to log into the server through the browser. So the user can use the SSH or RDP or web page for our proxy. Uh, without knowing password, you just click and then get access. Okay. When they access, we have the filter, we lock in all the lock all the behavior and activities. So and it can be called this action, of course. So what the AI component here, we will analyze what com com component you're using. We analyze the context, we analyze the behavior, the duration of access, where you access from, and to find is there any business behavior okay so we assume we, we, we may assume that uh, uh, the user locking our system is safe but it need not to be okay even MFA can be broken and we can be duplicate or work around uh, so far we didn't find this bug or issues but we assume that may happen so that's why we have an AI to monitor all the sections in case there's a problem, we will fight five or less, or even we can stop the connection. It depends on policy, okay? Of course, you got you can send a lot to SIEM, you can further actions. And of course, in case, if you want the password itself, for example, you got a very specific special tools that really need the password access, we can, you can check out the password. But we will rotate the password afterwards. Okay, after you check in, you rotate it. And of course, you can have uh, some approval process, type in the reasons and 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 three or four people to approve before you can access. Yeah, we have all such kind of features. So we, uh, uh, Sensor Cura is a full features, easy to use, easy to config PM solutions, okay? And one more thing is very important. Our architecture is, is tiny and sim uh, simple. We have a OVA, Linux-based OVA. We have all our servers, database built in. So you need not to buy additional Windows license or database license or cluster license. So even you do cluster, you just redeploy the server, synchronize the data. Of course, you may need to buy a license for the additional server, but okay, so you two or three, then you can have a full function cluster HA environment for your PAM. For many other major competitors, you need to have at least six or eight server or a Windows, uh, and you have Windows Server, you have a MSC closed server database uh, license, you have the provision of that, you have to do the Windows cluster. Only the elementary OS level stuff is already a nightmare, and it is very high cost. Not not mention about the PAM site software license. Only the basic infrastructure is very costly. But we all same handle 100, uh, 1,000 device. So sales Acura is really, really cost effective, uh, worth to use uh, solutions. Not just for corporate, for SME also fit that. And many uh, SME try to find uh, PAM for them, maybe they have some critical servers, maybe they outsource their core business solution to uh, uh, third-party developers or freelancers. 
they want to have better monitoring and privilege access control, then Sense Secure can help. Yeah, and we got very, very good uh, uh, rating in uh, Ghana PA Insight. So we already got a very good uh, recommend percentage. And we are not just one or two reviews. Not, not that, not that seems less. We have over 100 already. So you can take a look in Power Gear, uh, Gear uh, PA Insight. Uh, this is uh, some extract, uh, compete and simple deployment, safety, and flexible, effective. Yeah, so take a look. Okay, so besides PAM, Sales Recruiter got other uh, very interesting modules. One is the certificate management. We can help you to manage your certificate right away uh, from uh, renew the cert, uh, download the cert, provision, publish the cert to a different server. Especially if you now, if you run on that box, you may have thousands of thousands of temp server. So how we can ensure all the certificate there is correct and do before we knew or after we knew you may need a certificate management tools and also if you running that pops um, development uh, CICD then you will find you have more and more uh, application tokens and secret which is a uh, kind of headache when you try to rotate it or you, for example, after you finish the deployment or the de development, when you try to switch from uh, testing environment to protection environment, of course, you need to change the credential. Then you find it's very difficult. Some simply choose to hard code it, use the same credential forever, but this is really, really bad idea and not comply with many other compliance. So we got modules to help you to do that. So we all of those functions we can handle by a single platform, the unified uh, unique uh, OVA appliance, as I mentioned. Then you can manage all the features and functions here. Okay. So it's a turnkey solution, easy to adopt. It's a fast to deploy and future ready because we have more and more modules. So we can add on modules when you need. So let me share a little bit use case for this uh, case. I think this is not that in interesting yet. Okay, so this one is a uh, Brazil government data processor. It's all about the uh, payroll. So you can imagine how many personal data are there. So the site got uh, 6,000 device. And they have many, many IT device got many different kind of privilege access. Uh, and there's a no access recording. So many business behavior without accountability. So everyone using administrator account doing bad stuff and no one say it's done by him. Even you know, maybe Peter do this, but there's no luck to pinpoint Peter use administrator account to do this kind of bad stuff. Only a lot for administrator account doing this and that. So they re so they adopt uh, Sensakura, uh, isolate uh, all the device assets, recall all the sections, remove the personal uh, privilege assets. Then they reduce 96% uh, <laughs> local static password. Yeah, password that never rotate. Uh, I know some company have a uh, password for 10 years for support. I think they're, they're still using the same password for support and password, blah, blah, blah. And then they use it to install software for, for end users. I think even I know the password and I think many, many uh, users doing this. So this is a really bad uh, idea. And so there's a 1.1k user lost direct access to the infrastructure. So there's not need not to allow them to direct access to the infrastructure, but they just grant it because they have the administrator password. This is really, really dangerous, right? 
and they got three three hundred session recording per day. They integrate the same. Yeah, so they re enumerate ninety seven percent of unauthorized access using the common administrator password. Yeah. Okay. And also this one is uh DevOps. So th they have a uh, CI CD pipeline to have a CI CD continuous deployment, continuous integration. They have 200 administrators and developers. They have 4,000 permanent server, 20,000 temporary cloud servers, and they have 2,000 hardcore SSK. So this is the, the moment. If you don't have PM solutions or in short, you don't want that set ops, it likely to happen like this. And someone also pushed their hardcore credential to GitHub and the GitHub is not for perfect access, it's open to the public. That uh, can be a nightmare, right? And so they have uh, many, many tokens. They don't know how to do that. So they use sensor career, map all the uh, tokens, and they uh, remove 40% unnecessary user access, and they record 80% administration access. So this is a standard secure that help you the, the helps you on the journey of the desktop ops, moving from DevOps to desktop ops. Okay, so this is a uh, standard secure. Uh, although there's not much much AI stuff there, but all of the uh, misbehavior, outline behaviors we use AI to detect. So in case even you are a Legitimate administrator, you log into our system, grant as already grant access to a virtual server. If your behavior is real, we still can able to detect because no, there's no no defense is always uh, hundred percent right. So we also log all of activities to help you to find out abnormal behaviors. Okay. <clears throat> Last but not least, a terror. So this one is not just machine learning, it's not just AI, but we adopt Copilot, Microsoft Copilot deeply in our solution. Is that interesting, right? So what is this? Okay, let's take a look for the short video. Uh, there's no sound, right? So this is the our ticketing system. So, uh, okay, hold on, I forgot to tell you what that. We, we are our MM and PSA solutions. We have remote management solutions and also ticketing system, which is integrated solution to help you to manage uh, all your computers, servers, and device. So this is the open AI modules, which integrate with our ticketing system. So with this click, you can see on right-hand side, we use open AI, now it's called Copilot, to generate the Take a summary for you, okay? Not just that. And then we will know uh, this maybe ten thousand words email back and forth. You can you can uh, see the summary, and then you can ask for a solution. So you just click the proposed solution. Copilot will give you a solutions uh, with a GPU uh, and install driver. And in case if you want to take the actions with a script, you can use Copilot to help you to generate a PowerShell or shell script. So this is the description and this is the prompt to use to create a scripts. Uh, you can also use it uh, by yourself. You just type in your prompt. Uh, like for example, very typical one is uh, uh, set the uh, browser homepage of Chrome, Edge, and Safari to company homepage, and, and a bookmark for the support, and, and a bookmark for the uh, uh, maybe, uh, I don't know, HR system, forever. Then you can write a script to help you to do that. You need not to think how to do that or research it. It regenerate, you test it, then you apply to all your users. Okay? So this is the AI generated uh, tools. Uh, also, we can in a bullet point format and executive report. Yeah. So this is how the uh, you can choose. Okay. Uh, these are tickets. 
uh, we need we newly uh, uh, apply a new modules. You got a new view here. We will see will detect emotion of the user. Is it happy or not happy? Okay, so it's a very typical use case for uh, uh, LLM or generative AI, right? So for our customers, uh, there's uh, many many uh, major players or uh, chain stores and uh, food and beverage. Uh, university, uh, tech company, and we, we do sign up many new customers in Singapore quickly. Uh, we newly introduced this to product last year. So, okay, what, what we do, serve, who we serve is, okay, if you're a company, uh, IT department, you want to serve many, many of end users, then you can use Atera. Uh, we have the LLM help you to remote access, help you to remove to uh, install a driver software patch your system maybe remove temp file whatever then if you've got multiple sites you use our cloud solutions help you to remote access to manage your computers so you have a much much more uh, cost effective um, and the time um, save much your time and if you're msp then you you can make use of tools to serve your customer and sometimes there's a, some specific vendors. They need not take care about all your desktop, but they may offer specific use of server or appliance that they need to help to maintain or take care of. Then you can use Atera to help you to monitor remote access all your uh, managed server or services. So there's, uh, most of the, them using this fee way. Maybe there are this use case, but. Uh, but anyway, this is uh, typical. So we are running on Microsoft Azure, Enterprise Grace um, uh, Public Cloud. We have secure and compliance. We have data analysis. We really take care about your security. We have remote monitoring and management tools. We have help desk and ticketing solutions. We have network monitoring and discovery tools. We have report, we have app center. We support Windows, Linux, and Mac. Uh, not just that. Uh, those uh, Windows, Linux, and Mac, we can install agent. Then we can remote access to lots of things. If you simply want to monitor it, uh, to check if it's online, if it's, if they're busy, you can use our TCP connector or the SNMP connector. Then you can uh, look after all those uh, devices or even external web page. So we are all in one solutions. When you subscribe, you have got all the functions and features I just mentioned, and you have a time-saving automation. As I mentioned, we can automate help you to patch your system, install software, uh, run scripts, and this and that. And we are licensed by technical user. So if you got five engineers log in to hand, handle 1,000 endpoints, you just have to pay the five engineer licenses. Uh, 1,000 device or 2,000 device or 3,000 or 1 million, this time, it doesn't matter, okay? Of course, it's not, not that possible. Uh, five people can handle 1 million, okay? So don't abuse our system. But if you use normal use case, install as much as you want. So, <clears throat> We not just provide remote access, we actively monitor your device and provide pr predictive alerts. So we know our oh, CPU going up or memory goes in, going up, the, this almost full, or there's uh, other issues you can configure your matrix or threshold. We have uh, preset, of course. Then you can automatically call up a healing scripts or ask it to fire up a alerts and convert it to a ticket assigned to someone you want it to handle okay for example if the server uh, this almost full and got the memory is full it will create a ticket assigned to jonathan because jonathan is the linux administrator Okay, so uh, so this is a, a monitor part, and there's a ticket 
operating system, we uh, have to tell you a little bit more. Uh, besides the exciting Copilot op OpenAI integration, we have an auto tagging system that we're using AI. So we will know this ticket is this ticket is uh, about hardware, about software. Uh, okay. Okay, so uh, Roger got a question. Uh, uh, let me finish this part and answer him. Okay, so uh, we, we so you can because we have a uh, ticketing rule, so you can write some rule. For example, uh, whatever there's a hardware question for this site assigned to uh, Mary, maybe. Uh, and as I mentioned, all Linux are all Linux server related to Jonathan. Okay, so so we can auto dispatch the tickets to the right person. And you know, of course you can uh, ask them to CC someone like, for example, if they're VIP customer, VVIP customer, raising any tickets, CC to all the manager immediately, whatever. It's up to you, okay? It, you create and I help you to do that. And we can create our internal knowledge base and we have a customer support portal so the user can load their ticket there, monitor the ticket status. And we will add also the copilot there to let them ask questions. And yeah, so in the ticket automation rule. So, okay, there's a two question now. Okay, now let me, let me answer the first question from Roger. So is there any limit to the, how many incidents per day of a no, no limitation? We, as much as you can. You, if you know, yeah, if you normal use, of course, we, of course, um, for example, we, um, we, you email in your tickets, if a normal one, we of course accept that. Uh, but if you load a thousand ticket in one second, then we will block it because this is abuse, right? Okay, the second one, we do we need to pull up, go pilot license ourselves? Okay, good question. Okay, so uh, the second question is uh, do we need to buy a co pilot license or what? No, you need not to buy any co pilot license additionally. Once you purchase the technical, the engineer license, then the engineer able to use those copilot features, summarizing ticket, generating scripts, uh, generate reply, and you know copilot is very smart. If someone asks, you can generate reply. If someone asks a ticket in Mandarin or Chinese, the reply it will be in Chinese. If someone asks in Korean, it will reply in Korean. Of course, for the summary and the suggestions, such, uh, the solution suggestion is still in English, okay? Because Copilot is English based, but it will help you to translate to the target language when you ask for generate a reply, okay? So you don't need to pay extra for the AI function features. Yeah, you can enjoy it. Um, of course, there's a, some. Uh, modules difference or, 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 or the package a little bit different so you can contact ourselves but basic features we have include for the copilot okay so uh besides the uh, ticket we have the automation modules we can automate dispatch a patch for you we use a third party repository to help you to deploy software uh, for Windows, we, we use Chocolate Tea. For Mac, we use Homebrew. Linux, we use the Linux repository. So you can create a software bundle. For example, uh, for any newly joined computer, please install T10 software to it. And every week, check up if there's a new version, install a new version. Uh, and then patch your Windows. You can do that here. And of course, you can add some more scripts that you create in our uh, AI module, maybe create, you already have similar script already, or you generate full our Copilot features. And we have a repository for the common um, scripts they can use. Maybe for example, disable the, uh, well, disable the, enable the lock screen or the uh, disable USB or whatever, you, you can do that. Okay, so we have the automation and you can, of course, you can exclude some 
problematic uh, Windows patch. So what I usually suggest is uh, nowadays we are not even not that possible to test out all the patches day by day before apply because it's really really too many. Uh, Microsoft, you may control because they have a very regular schedule, but don't forget you have to apply for the application or others OS and this and that. So what I suggest is you break your corporate uh, computers or desktop to few groups, pilot groups, production groups, critical groups, and delay groups, okay, or, or importance of whatever. So the pilot goes pilot easy, right? So you you need to pick a few really production computers, not just testing computers. The pilot patch, if no problem, next week you can even let the schedule one. If the first week in the pilot group you find a problem, you can find out pinpoint the which uh, CVE is installed and you could put an exclude and then you continue to run. So the next week the production or others will won't apply. After you confirm the problem is resolved, you can uh, take it out from the exclude. Then you can make sure the production group is healthy. After production have no problem, there's an important server group, and then no problem, and then critical group is fine. Maybe VVIP, this is up to you, but at least you have to put in the three. Pilot, production, critical. Okay, then you have a Windows to let the, sorry, let the user to have you test it. But that's the true story, right? You not possible to test. Of course, if you have enough human resources, you have a first week you test all the stuff, and then you can move to the next time. Congratulations, you got very good insights. But uh, I don't see much organizations have the, that resources. So you may create a few groups and run this profile in different schedule. Yeah. Okay. And yeah, AI scripts and six months smart tickets. Yeah. And also a school patch, as I mentioned, you can group in by Windows, Mac, and all. Okay. So, uh, so we offer uh, twenty seven support online. All the help desk is real person, not AI. So you can launch a chat with our support uh, engineer. They are really, really knowledgeable and response very fast. Okay. Okay. Oh, one, for, one thing very important I forgot to mention. So it's also back to the related to Copilot. Each of the attackers are uh, instant. They are isolated. So no customer will cause reference, including very important, the Copilot uh, data. So when you have a new instant, uh, as an account, so your your data is uh, making copy of the copilot, so it will not leak all your information. Because when you use our copilot more, for example, you ask him to uh, summarize ticket, you ask him to generate tickets, you ask him to uh, suggest a uh, reply, it will start to learn your environment. It's uh, one of the training, you know how everyone work, right? right but it will not spill over to other accounts because you are isolated uh, environment also when you ask for support if you don't grant a access token to the support they are not able to access your data so all your data is encrypted from the database there's not a, if there are no a user allowed there's no engineer from a terror can access your your instance so in case you got configuration problem that you think they will ask for you, can I have your access, give me a token, you give them a token, they can get it. So this is how, how it works. And we have the uh, multi-language support, now we're currently in English, French, and German, I, I, the online support. Well, all of us can should be able to handle in English to ask them and get you the answer. So yeah, very good support. So for the UX case, um, if you are IT support or MSP with the same number of license, you can save a lot of the cost because other competitors are licensed by managed endpoints, not by engineers. So if your company growing, 
you need not to think about it. You must choose a terror because very typically, typically with the AI there, you can handle more computers with think of engineers, but there's not that hard, no burden at all. And we greatly shorten the training time because most of the day-to-day -day simple IT question you need not to think, you just rely on copilot to help you generate answer. For example, how to how to change the browser, the default browser, how to uh, change the home page. Then Copilot will help, help you to generate detailed, correct reply to your users. And if you already got a RMM solutions, you may can think about switch over. Also, if you're currently playing for the remote access to like any desk or team view, just switch to Atera because for Atera we come with a free, uh, uh, not a free, a paid uh, uh, remote access tools called Splash Top. The functionality is just the same with uh, any desk and team view, uh, and you can use it right away because when you install the Atera agent, it's a customized version and installed to the client also. So you need not to install additional agent, of course. In fact, we come with any desk also, so you can use any desk, but there are more limitation on the co-current connection, uh, but let's talk more flexibility. So, and I, will, I can tell you the cost is not that far. It's very, very similar. So if you try to renew any desk or team will simply switch to Atara, then you can enjoy the Copilot, the OpenAI features on ticketing, on the script generation, and the ticketing rule, remote access, uh, auto patching, software install, and 24 7 support. How can you find it? Okay. So, and also, someone may ask a question about how you protect our data. We've got the tickets there. So we got all the ISO, SOC2 type to whatever, so it can help you. So you can take a look for Atera Trust, so you can see how Atera handle and protect your data on the cloud. Okay, so that's all for today's sharing. Uh, as expected, expected that Atera is a more interesting solution for most of the guys. So do you have any other question for uh, anything? Uh, uh, maybe Atera, maybe ESAT, Census Cura, a lot layer, or, or, or even we chit chat about OpenAI or Copilot or Gemini. Yeah. Why there's a pay? Um, actually, there's not free and not pay. It's included in the license. So when you buy one en each engineer license, it come with a, a, a splash top already. And if I'm wrong, not more is uh, any that's got two concurrent connection. Yeah. Um, name the access. Uh, for splash top. Okay, okay. The how we work in this way. Um, uh, the question is uh, name the access. Uh, so we we for for the engineer access, we maximum allow you have two concurrent section to lock in our a Terra portal. So one each engineer after they lock into the Atera portal, they can if you if you are using Splash Top, uh, from my experience you can connect two or three or four remote desktop using Splash Top at the same time, so you can concurrently connect uh, from that web section to four or more computer, but usually two or three. Yeah, I what well, I use this, but if you choose to use any that's the any desk is customized version also. It's not the public version. Okay. Uh, you have two only. So you can launch two, maybe you know, one desktop and one server. So usually I recommend user if because this is used by engineer, uh, one may adopt new tools very quickly and it's not almost more the same. Functionality is the same. You also can transfer file, you can also launch a chat, you can you can support multiple screen. It's just the same. Okay, you just need to download the client and the admin, on the admin side, click and launch the remote, then we will launch and connect to the remote computer. 
yeah, so there's no limit. Uh, you, if you use uh, any test, yeah, that can be concurrent for each Telecom 2 device, but if you use splash top, you can connect more. Uh, if if you mean log into the, uh, okay, okay, this I think easily max up. Okay, so let's go back to the console. So Roger got a question about the uh, we have desktop, laptop, iPad, iPhone, etc., etc. Okay, so for this portal, okay, uh, you you as an engineer. You can log into this portal to manage your device. Okay, so what kind of device you log in to the portal? It doesn't matter because this is a web page, and we got a mobile app also. Okay, you can log in like from desktop and uh, handphone at the same time. It should be fine. Okay, so how many devices I can manage through this Atera is unlimited. Okay. So the story is still like this. My company got 100 devices. I'm the only engineer that handled those 100 devices. So I'm the only one to log in a Terra portal. Okay. And those 100 devices, I install a Terra engine agent to those devices. And then I can see all that 100 devices in our a Terra portal. Okay. Need not to do remote access. I can remotely launch a, uh, a task, restart a surface, reboot the computer, install software. It's not, not mentioned about the remote access, okay? You just control all that 100 device at the same time using Atera through schedule task uh, scripting, okay? So the, the a little difficult one is um, one email, 10 engineers, sorry, no, not possible. <laughs> not possible because we are we we okay we are really good taking a good offer to unlimited device if you if we allow a same email login to unlimited engineer to log in then we cannot sell any more ISIS. everyone just buy one from us sorry we will detect abuse okay so you can try from one license first uh if you think it's uh free and handy buy more from us so don't try to abuse us, okay? <laughs> we will detect for AI. <laughs> okay, uh, Roger, if you got uh, any other questions, uh, maybe we can connect you to have a further discussion or or, or live demo to Atera. Uh, uh, if you're really interested to this solution, yeah. Uh, but of course, if you got question, uh, we do. We still have time. We still have few seconds, a few minutes. Uh, yeah. Although it's past uh, four p.m., but uh, I I don't have other rush schedule. Yeah. So, do you have any other question? Okay. Anyway, uh, thank you for your questions. Hope you enjoy this section and those Kabbalah thing. We really excite you guys. Uh, okay, so the last uh, statistic. Okay, here I said ten times customer. That's real because we have a statistic. We counting the average ticket uh, response time, <coughs> average ticket resolve time. We do find after we launch uh, open AI integration to our customer, we do find the. Uh, average response time, average uh, closing time is 10 times from before. So it need not to be one, one engineer to do 10 engineer jobs, but definitely you can, first of all, serve more customer, have a better quality, and very important to maintain your staff there. So your turnover rate, I definitely confirm can confirm you guys is lower, yeah, because their life is much much easier, yeah. Sometimes it's not not nothing about technical, it's just a feeling. Okay, yeah, that's all for today. Uh, thank you for your time. Uh, so we will share you the recording and the PowerPoint. Uh, yeah, that's it.
Cheers. Bye bye. Okay, you can send me email anyway <laughs> if you got problem. Okay. Bye bye.